Millions are now bracing for the second heat wave now moving in from Texas right up to Minnesota into the Midwest as it moves east. Temperatures topping 100 degrees. Some places warning tonight to watch for highways buckling. Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z is live in Lakewood, Colorado tonight, tracking it all again this week. Ginger? David, Minneapolis St. Paul made it to 101 degrees. Not only their hottest of the year, not only breaking a record, but the fourth earliest they've ever done that, at least this hot. It's been nearly a decade since they've been 101 plus, but they're not alone. Those excessive heat warnings and those heat advisories stretch all the way from Marquette, Michigan to the Upper Peninsula to Kansas City and in part are fueling severe storms from western Nebraska all the way up to Fargo. So you're going to see damaging wind there tonight, some hail too, but this heat is not going to stop. It's going to move to the east and Chicago could feel hotter than 101 tomorrow. 97 for Detroit. It goes all the way down to the Gulf Coast. Texas still involved, but look where it slides east. Atlanta should have an uncomfortable uncomfortable midweek and beyond. They'll break this heat by the weekend, but it's going to stick for Texas and the Gulf Coast, David. Yeah, first week of summer and already our second heat wave very early this year. Ginger Z, thank you again tonight. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.